Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. Share with your friends. So today, it's Friday. So if you're listening to this on the day, it's Friday. You're going to have a great weekend. I am believing it, and I am just speaking that over you. And so we are going to talk about John the Baptist today. John the Baptist. John the Baptist, Jesus' cousin. And um, we're going to talk about his death, though. So John the Baptist was beheaded and there was the ruler of Galilee was Herod Antipas and he didn't, he, he kind of respected John as, you know, his religious, you know, perspective. It made him uneasy to talk to him, but, um, he didn't want to kill him. He didn't, you know, he, he didn't mind him. Well, Herod married, decided he was going to marry his brother's wife. So he was going to divorce his wife and marry his brother's wife. And John told him, hey, you know, that's wrong. That's against God's law. And they didn't really like that, especially his wife. His wife did not like that. And so one day his wife had a daughter and his daughter went in and was dancing before them for like a performance. And they all enjoyed it so well that Herod Antipas said, hey, anything you want, it, you have my vow, I'll give it to you. So she went out, consulted with her mom, and her mom's like, hey, John the Baptist's head. And uh, so he was already imprisoned at the time. And so they, um, he didn't want to, but he had to do it because he had given his vow. So he sent people immediately, beheaded him, and brought his head to them on a platter. I mean, this is, you couldn't like make this story up. It's crazy. So out of Matthew 14, 1 through 12, go read it. It's in all the Gospels, I think, or at least three of them. But um, so it brings the head on the platter. And so apparently they were just happy about it. And so you think about this. And when I read the story, I'm like, seriously, all he did was say, hey, that's against God's law to like marry your brother's wife. And but see, we don't fight against flesh and blood. We fight against principalities and powers of darkness. So when John said that, yes, it made them angry. But who it really made angry was all that darkness and that demonic spirits. Because see, demons, they don't like purity. They don't want holiness. So it stirred them up. And, you know, this, this plot concocted so that John would be killed. And so it seems extreme, right? But... Leaders, we can't let darkness win. We just can't. You know, this kind of stuff still happens today. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, I haven't had my physical head on a platter, but there are times, and I know that you guys are like me, that you felt like maybe your head was, you know, not, not you know, it was figuratively on a platter when you called out somebody's sin. And I don't mean call it out in an embarrassing way, like, hey, you know, you're in a group. But I'm just talking about teaching the truth. See, the bend is to when we teach. So teachers, you know, to kind of water it down so that we we are um, acceptable to the current culture instead of teaching just pure truth. And so, yes, we need to teach that truth in love, but we need to teach the truth. And what's going to happen is see demons don't like that. They don't like that. That darkness, that, that work that's at work here doesn't like that. But you know what? You're full of the greater one. So we need to do it in boldness. We need to still do it. Because you know why? Because some people are not going to like it. You're going to feel like you figuratively have your head on a platter. But then some people are going to hear it. And they're going to repent and they're going to come out from their sin and they're going to come and they're going to want holiness because God is a holy God and he wants us to be holy and pure. You know, we are holy. So, so it's going to be worth maybe the five people who don't like it because there's that one, that one that you're going to be able to grab out of darkness and to come into the light. So it'll be worth it. So I'm just praying. I'm praying if you're a person right now listening to this and you are um you're a believer in jesus but you have this sin that it's a it's a socially acceptable sin but you are continuing to walk in it 
The Lord is beckoning you to come out of it and trust that he has something sweeter for you, a sweeter place to be. And I'm also praying for those leaders, those teachers, those people who conversationally are sharing Jesus at the grocery store. I'm just praying that you would have boldness to share God's word in love, that your life would show the love of God and that your words would be full of truth. And so I want you to have a great day. I am praying for you and I will talk to you on Monday. Have a great weekend.